We're suited and ready to start our day out here in Ba. Now, we're going to be meeting some queen bees. And no, not Beyonce, but the inspiration behind Beyonce's name. And actually some beehives as well. Not bayhives, beehives. But I'm going to put this on before I get stung. And then we're going to head in there. Let's go. Any beekeeper will tell you that there is something unique about going out to tend to hives the first thing in the morning or just as the sun is going down in the afternoon. Nilesh Kumar of Kumar's Honey agrees. I like getting the honey but uh, I find it more fun being with the bees. Today we're taking a trip to his bee farm in the interiors of Mba, approximately 15 minutes from his house and his massive pineapple farm. Upon reaching his farm, we got suited and ready to meet the bees. The interesting part about farming, most of the people think that farming is for uneducated people. And I think that farming is for educated people too. Now president of the Fiji Beekeepers Association, Nilesh Kumar has been a pineapple, bee and honey farmer for over 12 years. Working his way up as a member of the FBA, Nilesh was appointed president of the association last year. With beekeeping, a lot of knowledge is needed. You have to know about bee psychology, how the bees develop, how they produce honey and queen breeding, how the queen works and all those things. So over there you need to have knowledge and apart from that you need to have skills. And that's where the Fiji Beekeepers Association or the FBA come in. A non-profit organization established to represent the Fiji beekeepers, the FBA's key objectives are to improve the beekeeping industry in Fiji, to promote the economic and other interests of beekeepers in Fiji, and to promote the production and marketing of honey and related byproducts of the beekeeping industry, to name a few. First thing when we come to a hive is we light our smoker. Uh, it gives the smoke, like we use smoke so that we can walk with the bees and when we use smoke, like in simple terms, I would say it breaks down their communication so the bees won't be that aggressive and we can walk. And another reason, like when they see the smoke, they think it's a bushfire, so they are busy preparing to leave their hive and while they are busy, collecting the honey because they think it's a bushfire, we do our job. Today Nilesh is showing us around his bee farm and teaching us step by step how to introduce a queen bee to a new hive over the course of a week. This is a single hive and uh, this one is a nucleus where we use uh, for queen breeding most of the time where we, when we want to have a new queen. and. This one is a double hive. Most of the time in Fiji, you will see beekeepers having double hive. Yeah. When we are focusing on uh, harvesting honey and uh, honey, then we have double hive uh, boxes. Double hive boxes means the two boxes are there. Basically, when we talk about two boxes, in just simple terms, this bottom box is a brood box where the bees nest is, where the bees and the lava and other things are there and mostly the top one is called super where they collect the honey we also have three yeah. uh, if the if your colony is strong we have three so we can collect more honey here <laughs> basically when we approach a box we normally smoke the entrance first this is how we open the box for inspection or anything Open the cover, we smoke. Okay, now 
this box. You can see the bees are walking. And during the honey season, normally when we pull the frame, This is a frame filled with nectar. You can see this liquid part. Yeah. It is the nectar and it is not matured yet as a honey. Once it's uh, filled and matured, then the bees will seal it. Once it's sealed like this, this portion, we know it's ready to harvest. And we'll wait once this whole frame is capped yeah. and then we're going to harvest. This side, it's nearly half so at the moment I can say we still have the nectar flow the honey is coming in basically this is the brood nest in the brood nest this is what you will see most of the time Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you can see some bees these are the woka bees and if you can see the white thing right inside the cell, Where? it's oh, yeah? right inside. It's the lava. Oh, let me see this side. Can you see it? Yeah. Those are the lava. And they will turn into pupa. And once it's sealed, this is the brood and the bees will hatch out from there. This is a good brood pattern you can see. Yeah. It's completely sealed, like there is hardly any patch you can see, only few are there. So that's where the baby bees are? Yeah, they will hatch out from there. Wow. And I can see the queen now. Where is it? This is the queen. Can you see the difference? She looks different yeah. than the rest. Wow. Most of the time she'll try to hide. Because she has to protect herself, right? Yeah. The only job the queen does is lay eggs. Oh. And a good queen would lay about 1,500 eggs in a day. Healthy, fertile queens are even capable of laying over 3,000 eggs per day. Although queens can live seven or more years, their productivity typically declines after the first year or two. This queen is ready to be packed in the queen cage. And if, if the order comes, I'm going to sell this queen. This year, we also are running a new program that is the genetic improvement of the bees because uh, we need to improve uh, the genetics of our bees. And for that, we have uh, queen breeding program going on and uh, there are two or three queen breeders who are doing this program and under this program they do the genetic breed and they sell the queen to the farmers at a subsidy rate. So with that grant the farmer only have to pay $10, the $40 is paid by Fiji beekeepers and that money is coming from European Union through PFON to Fiji beekeepers and it's going to the farmers. Coming up, how to introduce a new queen to a hive. This is a simple step, how we can introduce a new queen bee or a cage queen in the hive. Today we're visiting a honey and queen grafting bee farm in beautiful Mba. President of the Fiji Beekeepers Association, Nilesh Kumar, wants nothing more than to help fellow beekeepers get the best out of their bees and help improve the genetics of the bees in Fiji. Today, Nilesh has offered to show us step by step how to introduce a caged queen to a new hive. The process starts with first, you have to come to your hive and make the hive queenless. For example, if I want to change this queen because this queen is not laying egg properly or maybe too old and not producing a lot of honey. So I want to change this queen. So quickly look for the queen. You see a lot of bees here on this frame. Oh yeah, I found the queen here. So now I found the queen. 
and for this box I know my queen is good so I can put it in the nucleus box I am removing this queen away of course to start you'll need to capture a queen bee and put her in a bee cage Nilesh is using a queen male cage You'll also need to put a few worker bees in the cage as attendants in the interim to look after Her Majesty. The cage is lined with special candy to ensure the queen and the worker bees have sustenance over the next few days while her new hive either welcome her or don't. If she is accepted, the bees from the new hive will chew their way through the candy to release her. Day two. You come back after 24 to 48 hours. This box is queenless. You open. We have already taken the queen out from this box. I can see the bees are bees. queenless. Try to look for a brood. the brood here what we're going to do put the cage in the middle little bit tilted up the candy is in this end the candy is little bit pointing up like this and it will go in between two frames You leave your frame like that. Remember, I have not opened the candy yet. I close the box and leave it for 24 hours so that the bees get familiar. Day three, when you come, you can see some bees around. You open the candy, can you see this entrance here? We unplug this, we open this. Once it's open, then we place the queen back again. Once the candy is open, the bees will eat the candy and the queen will come out. And you can leave this for two or three more days and you can come back and check that your queen have come out safely. This is a simple step how we can introduce a new queen bee or cage queen in the hive. The problem that our industry starts to face like uh, going back when we started uh, beekeeping in 10 years back Fiji uh, was not uh, in Fiji we were not producing sufficient honey, honey for ourselves. We were export, uh, importing the honey that time there was a, a lot of demand and with the industry growing from last 10 years and I would say today we are producing more than our demand like uh, the we have more farmers and also the farmers are educated and we are producing more honey and at the moment we are ready to export the honey also the Fiji beekeepers and Ministry of Agriculture and Ministry of Trade we are trying to look for a market overseas to export our honey and uh, as you know our honey is one of the best honey in the world i would say because it's organic it's pure and natural and we are trying to get that exported overseas so one problem at the moment i would say most of the farmers are facing is the market and also our after the COVID, that's another thing uh, farmers are also affected after the COVID. Uh, the market the sales have gone down. Personally for me, my sales have gone down by about 70%. And uh, the same with other farmers. Because most of our honey was related with the uh, tourism industry. And also with the economical crisis, the sales is a bit low. In the supermarket and also in the tourism industry. One good thing for Nilesh was that despite the market being down, his bees were not. Up next, the exciting process of honey extraction.
Being a bee farmer is definitely not an easy thing to do. While there are a lot of factors to consider to be a successful beekeeper, you could say reaping the rewards is sweet like honey. Literally. My team and I were lucky to have met Nilesh and his team during honey harvesting season. The guys carefully load the hives packed full of the golden goodness onto the trucks and make their way to Nilesh's extraction house. Honey comes inside the extraction house. We pick frame by frame. So this is how a full honeycomb looks like with the honey. Once it's here, then we do the processing and it's uncapped. And this is a simple way of uncapping. We just open the honey because it's been sealed. What is it sealed by? Uh, by beeswax. The bees, once the honey is matured and ready to harvest, the bees seal the honey. And normally when we harvest honey, we see that it's completely sealed like this. So once it's uncapped, it looks like this. Oh. It's completely uncapped. And then from here, the uncapped honey, it comes on the honey sink. Then from here, it goes in the machine. The capped honey. So tell me a bit about this machine. Uh, this is a honey extractor. And this one is a eight frame honey extractor. And I would say semi-automatic. Yeah. Like it's not 100% manual. Once we load the frame here, then we on the power and then the motor spins the frame inside yeah. and once the frame is uh, spinning inside you can see the honey will be coming out with the force yeah. once it's spinning the honey starts to come out one side and it hits the side of the wall and then it goes down and then from there it goes in front where we do the filtering and other things. How long do you have to do this for? Okay, this goes for a while and then once we know that uh, most of the honey is out from one side, then we neutral the thing, we neutral the machine. Yeah. This is how this machine works, but there are uh, many different types of machines, uh, half uh, extractors that people use. Yeah. We wait for the machine to stop. Once it's stopped, then automatically this should turn other side. Yeah. But this one has some problems, so I have to do it manually. And once it's turned, then again we spin, it spin yeah, yeah. for the other side to come out. So in that way, both sides the honey comes out. From here, the honey comes out and then it's collected in the bucket there. Yeah. And once it's almost full, we change and then we pour the honey in the filtering tank. When we open this honey gate tap, you can see the pure honey, natural honey coming out and it's ready to be consumed. This is a pure raw organic honey, yes. Most of the time we fill it in the bucket and then we leave it for a couple days for the honey to settle. Some of the like air bubbles that is trapped in the honey, it will float on top. Okay. Then we pack. And if we just pack straight away, we will have a white thing on top of our bottle.
unstopped then most of the time we take it out and we check and you can see most of almost all the honey has been taken out oh, now it goes in the empty box and then from here it goes back to the truck and back to the farm oh and then the bees fill it up again yeah how long does it take for the bees to make like a full box of honey okay honey it comes in the season yeah and like uh, when it is early season that is june and july it will be full like uh, our last harvest was in december yeah and from december till may it was like off season, rainy season, and now again it's season. From June to December is the season. That's the dry season, we would say. And uh, in these six months, sometimes we harvest three times and sometimes two. It depends on the weather. It depends on the nectar flow. If your hive is in a place where you have a good nectar flow, you can harvest three or four times in a year. Th this is the process that we only do here. Okay. And we have other process that we do. Like uh, for harvesting, the honey is taken out and the uncapped wax. And the uncapped wax will be filtered here. It will be left in this tank and this tank will be covered with the lid. So it will be completely sealed. Okay. We can leave it for 24 or 48 hours. Okay. After that, we will have something oh, like this. Cool. You can see it's almost dry wax. At the moment, I don't have... Uh, wax spinner where we can 100% take out the honey from the wax yeah but those machines cost a lot of money so we are not investing in that okay but every time like in this process i know i'm like one or two kg of honey is being wasted and i wasn't about to leave without trying some pure delicious honeycomb Right? Yes, because we are not using any chemical at the moment in our boxes. This is very nice. The farmers, like the produ production side is going well. The farmers are producing their honey and most of the farmers are just storing their honey properly and hoping once the things get better, they can sell. Once uh, we start to have the tourists coming in, once the economical crisis is not there, then the sales will go. And to maximize his sales, Nilesh does not let anything go to waste. With the uncapping that we have, it is uh, been melted and um, mostly my mother does the process of remelting the wax. We put all the uncapping in the boiling water and once it's melted, and then we leave it and we filter it first and then we leave it overnight for it to settle down all the debris that's the pieces of dead and other things it will sink down and the wax will float on top and once it uh, pulls down you will have this uh, nice piece of cake thank you i encourage uh, the youths and other farmers to work hard and farming is good i enjoy doing farming because the reason is I love working with the plants and also with my bees. And at the end of the day, we are feeding the people of Fiji. If you are not there, then there will be no food. To learn more about the FO for ACP program, log on to www.pacificfarmers.com. Coming up next week, we're traveling all the way to the stunning Ra. We meet John Caldera, the secretary of the Fiji Beekeepers Association. Skills or lack of skills is probably the biggest constraint to honey production in Fiji and to beekeepers being successful. And we attend a beekeeping symposium. This is all the drone cells and this is for the boys. All that and more coming up next week. We'll see you then.